Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I made a Gidi Eko Tutu Kafra. The name depends on which part of West Africa you're from. This is my first time of making it and I'm going to use yellow corn, which is not so common or popular. Please continue watching and subscribe. I made a Gidi Eko Tutu Kafra, I'll be using yellow fermented corn. I have a recipe on how to make it, and then I need a very strong spatula. This is three cups. You might want to use less if this is your first time. I should have used less. And I'm going to pour this into a pot, a thick pot. Before I pour it into a pot, see why you need a very strong spatula that wouldn't break easily and if you're making this raw pap or ugi you might skip using ginger but it should be interesting using ginger I've got it in the pot to this I'm going to add water just water at room temperature to mix it into a smooth solution while I mix this, I've got the water boiling. I'm going to pour in the hot water after this is well mixed. Hot water is optional. If you like, you just can place it on the stove like this. I have washed the leaves and allow it to drain. Also, I will use this plastic mold. This makes it attractive especially for children you want to eat something with this shape back to the pap it would have settled that's why i'm mixing it again the water has boiled so i'll add the hot water to it before i put it on the stove to continue cooking got it on the stove and i'm going to stir constantly so it has no lumps it can be on the medium heat now. Later, I'll change it to low heat. And I have hot water close by. So everything goes on well without it forming into lumps. More than 10 minutes later, I'm going to add some hot water to it to cook it. Next time, I want to make a giddy or a kotutu, I would either use a lesser quantity of ogi or a bigger pot. This is not for the faint handed. Let me put it hand, <laughs> no hat. Once it is warm mixed together, I'm going to pour in the hot water enough to cook it. I will allow the water to get to the bottom and sides, not mixing it just allowing it to cook that's the aim here as you can see i didn't mix it properly there's water at the sides and bottom so it gets cooked and does not get burnt cover and allow it to cook for some minutes nine minutes later this is what i've got and i'm going to stir it properly this looks like lumps but it's not lumps but I'll still mix it and then to get whatever it is out. It looks a bit smoother now. I'm done with it. I'm going to scrape the sides and taking a closer look, you see it has that glassy, starchy consistency. So that would be all. Let me try and uh, lift it up. Uh, you see the way it is it is done now i'm going to turn off the heat and it's time to put it into mold so we'll form it into whatever shape we have and it's important at this stage that one should be very fast before it sets i'm going to flatten it so it gets even and I'm also going to use oil paper. This further helps to have a very smooth, even surface. Now 
starting the surface and for the rest let's go for a more traditional look i'm using leaves you would do it the way you would wrap moi moi in leaves before you cook it allow this to cool down so it can set it may not cool down completely but once it is set you are good to go The agidi made from yellow corn, ekotutu is done, and what looks like lumps is actually air bubbles. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye. See you next time. The story, I'm on the new glory.